What's up guys, it is Neon again, and we are back with some more Pokemon Leaf Green. So, when we last left off, we had just gotten our Pidgey to level 10. If I am correct, yes, yes I am. So, that means we are ready to go this way. We're going to go ahead and go towards the Viridian Forest. Oh, you were the bald-headed dude who was laying on the floor. There you go. Now that he's had his coffee, he's doing alright, guys. Alright, sorry if I scroll through the text super fast. Oh, uh, he's going to show me how to catch a Pokemon. Look at that Weedle. I can't really skip through any of this, so I'm just going to go and commentary over it. Um, basically, we're going to go into the Viridian Forest. We're going to start completely demolishing some insects. And uh, hopefully through the trainer battles, Pidgey will get a few levels. And we're going to try and catch us a Caterpie or a Metapod, one of the two. Either one will work for me. I don't really care which one. But Caterpie should level up into, or not level up, but uh, evolve to Metapod at a certain level. And then evolve again to Butterfree at level 10, I want to say. So, I don't want you guys to think that I'm like cheating and looking all this up. But, I mean, every once in a while I need to look things up. Order. I went and checked out an evolution chart just to. Okay, I thought I was just scrolling through this, but there we go. Um, I went and looked at an evolution chart just to make sure that I was getting the most bang for my buck. I guess I really wanted to know basically um, what Pokemon evolved into what. That way, I could figure out what Pokemon I wanted to get. And uh, that's why I did that. But it also had levels at which they leveled up, which is pretty cool. I don't know if they are strictly for this game. I don't know if that'll work. But it seems like it is uh, broadly based on all the games. So I think that'll work. I think it'll be, and this is who I want right here. This is exactly who I want. Can we tackle you and get you down pretty far? <gasps> oh my goodness, guys. This is a dream come true. So bag, Pokeball, you're mine. I thought about doing a complete bird playthrough. What about that? Should I do all birds? I mean, birds are pretty cool, aren't they? I want the my better <laughs> Mickey Rourke, man. I love Mickey Rourke. <laughs> it's like I want my better. <laughs> he just goes crazy. We are not going to nickname you, but now that we have you, we need to go heal you up a little bit and get you to at least level 5 or 6 before we take you back. <laughs> I mean, one of them things, guys. I'm sorry. Dark Mark, I'm not watching his videos. All he does is level Pokemon. Uh, that's pretty much the name of the game, guys. It happens. If I get Abra on this... I should be able to use his teleport ability again, which would be really nice. But uh, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to get an Abra on here. Bloop, bloop. Now I have two Pokemon. Yay. Alright, so here's how this is about to work. We need this Caterpie at a higher level. So... In order to do that, I think we are going to take him back into the Viridian Forest. We'll start out with Caterpie, swap out to Pidgey, and gain some experience for him that way. Because the enemies in this forest are much, 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 can't say it enough, they are much higher level. I may even go ahead and fight some of the trainers. Because I get more experience for the trainers. And that way I'll get Caterpie all the way up to like level 5 or 6. Then he should be able to hold his own. Because all he's going to have is Tackle. Man, this game just feels like it's put together so much better. Than Emerald was. I don't know what it is, but... Okay, so I actually need this... That'll help me out. 
Alright, and it's a Weedle. Or instantly swap Pokemon. He's going to use String Shot, which is good. It's not Poison. That allows me to use Gust. And that should wreck him. Yeah, there we go. Flying type, good for bug Pokemon. Noted. Wow, that cut the experience bad. Here we go. Let's do some trainer battles. You'll have to excuse me, guys, if I sniffle here and there. I'm a little bit under the weather. So I'm just going to go ahead and apologize for all my sniffling. Go ahead and swap out Pidgey. String Shot doesn't really hurt me all that bad. We'll just power through the rest of this. Gus should hurt you pretty bad. Oh, wow. It wrecked him at level 6. That's crazy. Awesome. I have no complaints. Caterpie's level 4. Oh, he's got a Caterpie now. I'm not even going to swap Pokemon. Alright, Caterpie, get wrecked. Alright, good job, good job. So, we're going to keep going. You can't jam out. I've never heard any body say jam out that uh, not be talking about running away from a fight I mean never never once in a life now this is actually a level 7 which is good for me oh no not po not poison I hope that doesn't poison me oh I hope it doesn't poison me almost every time I've gotten hit with poison sting I've not actually gotten poisoned which is nice we're not even going to let you have the chance to try that. I think I've gotten hit with Poison Sting in the duration of me playing this game now three times. Including my off-camera and on-camera time. Like before I first started recording the videos and now. And uh, never once. Never once have I actually gotten poisoned. Not trying to jinx it, but I hope that keeps happening. Yeah, bug catcher Doug. get wrecked buddy so I don't really remember my way around this forest either there's an antidote if I need it I think I bought some earlier I don't know that for sure all right so I do sort of remember I need to go down and around is this my Pikachu no all right so we're not quite ready for that yet String shot's not bad. I can handle string shot. Then we'll just gust and he should fall. Oop. Caterpie's level 5. Pidgey's getting on up there. Should need to come down through here. Then up. And I think that's where we need to be. Alright, so this is level 5 as well. I can't really risk that. I'll probably get Caterpie killed. So, or fainted. I just, I always thought about like what real life Pokemon would be like. I mean, you gotta figure. If it was real life and there were actually Pokemon, I've got this realistic view on things. Like, in my head, a Pidgey would be sitting there like pecking the eyes out of a Weedle, you know? It would be like dead as fuck. Just <laughs> maybe that's I don't know. Maybe that's a little macabre for uh, a lot of people. But in my mind, if it was realistic, that's what it would be like. And what happens to a Pokemon if, uh, say, the trainer keeps it in the Pokeball and the trainer dies? The Pokemon just stays in the Pokeball. 
forever, wouldn't it eventually, like, you know, get tired of being in there? I don't know. This is one of the things. This, the whole anime is awesome. Oh, if you want to call it an anime, I don't really consider Pokemon an anime. It's more of a cartoon to me. I know it's Japanese and all that, but I don't really consider it an anime. I don't feel like they made a uh, a series after a book. I don't feel like they made a series after a manga. I don't feel like they made this series after any of that. I feel like it was just contrived in the heads of whoever in Japan. You know, like, you know what, it's a good idea. Pocket Monsters, all right, let's go. It's a tried and true approach. And that's what happened. And afterwards came manga and stuff like that. So I don't really consider it an anime. But um, that's just my opinion. But they're really good to watch. I love them. They're awesome. But when you think about it in realistic terms, they would never, ever, ever come to fruition in realistic terms. I would much rather believe that the X-Men would be more realistic than this. I mean, if there were mutants in the world, yes, they would fight each other. Yes, there would be bad ones. You know, I mean, it's realistic. This, even the bad Pokemon people, they're just not really bad enough. Ash, he gets shocked with lightning bolts all the time from Pikachu. Wouldn't that at least cause him some heart complications? I'm just saying. I like to look at things in a realistic way. Yeah. No string shot for you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm a realistic kind of person. I think about some weird things sometimes. So you'll have to forgive me. Alright, this is where I actually, yes, 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 yes. So I'll say this is actually where I found my Pikachu last time. It's going to lower my attack, that sort of sucks. And now I'm paralyzed. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is not good, guys. Hey, that critical, though. All right. Here we go. I got to be... Yes. I was going to say, I sort of got to be on the ball. No pun intended about this, because Caterpie's on his last leg. All right. Cool beans, man. Did anyone see the weight right there? It was 13.5 pounds. That's a heavy Pokemon. 13 pounds. That's like almost a 15 pound Pokemon. I mean, I guess it's not too heavy. But in my opinion, I wouldn't want to lug around a 15 pound ball of fur everywhere with me. A 15 pound rodent. string shot no one cares you're about to get wrecked by gust and I literally got all the Pokemon oh wow that sort of sucked that's four times now I've gotten hit by that and I'm still not getting poisoned good I like it I like it makes me happy okay so let's go ahead and get out of here I know I probably didn't fight everyone in that forest I don't really see a, a reason to right now because I have all these cool Pokemon is that a Clefairy over in the corner that's pretty cool from what I hear, that's a rather rare Pokemon on here. Hey there, Clefairy. Oh no, it's a Jigglypuff. Oh, it played a little song. That's neat. 
Oh, see, that's more realistic. Jigglypuff is singing. It put its actual trainer to sleep. It happens. So you Pikachu should use Thunderbolt and actually turn Ash into Ash. I mean, that's just my opinion, though, guys. I mean, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Really a Weedle out here. I still don't quite know if Caterpie's ready for that. And I probably should go back to... Oh, no. I should probably go back to the original area and get like level 3 and level 2 Pidgeys for Pikachu to level up. Because that's uh, that's going to be his strong point. It's fighting flying types. So they're not really going to stand a chance. I've got all the Pokemon that I had on my playthrough. That I, It wasn't really a playthrough. On my little uh, observatory play of this game before I started actually making videos. So I'm pretty happy about this. This is going exactly how I wanted it to go. Wow, that poison sting is real though. Okay, so I've literally gotten hit by three poison stings. And it did not poison me. I don't know if I'm the luckiest guy in the world or what. Wow, that's crazy. Give him a nice little boost of XP. I need to check Caterpie's little ability out and see if he's... Oh, here's a level 4 Pidgey right here. Pokemon. And you're probably paralyzed now. No? Okay, that's cool. Yeah. You paralyzed now? No? Damn. Pidgey's got skills. Alright, so I'm doing pretty good, I would say. Let's run back up to the Pokemon Center and, um,. I'm going to try and cut this video a little bit short simply for the fact that I don't have as much space on my hard drive as I used to and I got to sort of keep these videos under, well I mean I'm only at 20 minutes. Sorry if y'all actually heard the speaker do that. If the volume cuts completely out for some reason it just like makes awkward noises. There it goes again. I have a huge subwoofer in my bedroom and it just freaks it out. It's like, <laughs> it like spits at me. It's really dumb. I don't know why it does that. Hopefully, with a little Mr. Caterpie here. I will be able to get some stuff going pretty soon. It's about to be level 7. That's why I'm going to go ahead and fight this Rattata with uh, just my Caterpie. I mean, Rattata is not really doing a lot of damage. He's just lowering my defense. Watch, he'll one-shot me now. Ooh! And it was a critical. Wow, that sort of sucked. But I'm level 7 now. Oh, so here we go, guys. Here we go. So I'm pretty sure I get a Metapod. Oh, yes, I do. Now I can use Harden. Okay, so I'm just curious. Now that I have a Metapod, 
It is going to be called Metapod. Yes, okay. That's why I don't like nicknaming Pokemon. Because when they evolve, I want them to actually keep their name. I think it's much better that way. It's more true to the anime series. I think that's how I would want it to be. So, we've almost got Metapod up to level 10. We're going to keep training him up. And then we'll start working on Pikachu. But I've got three Pokemon right now that are doing very well for me. Um, and once Metapod evolves into Butterfree. Oh, it's going to be on. I may even use Butterfree as my main Pokemon. I've got a female character. So, I mean, it's sort of fitting. I mean, Butterfree is sort of a really adorable, sort of cute, beautiful Pokemon. And, I mean, I can find joy in that. I can. So, Metapod's like level 7 now. And it still has Tackle. Uh, Pidgey's a little bit OP. Always, always, always getting them criticals in. Okay, Metapod's Tackle sucks. Dude, what is your attack? Like, two? What is your attack, Metapod? It's nine. See, the attack on Pidgey is 18. He's not too far above Metapod. Even Pikachu has got an 11 at level 5. Metapod's got good defense. A good special attack, but just not a lot of attack. So, that sort of sucks, actually. So now I gotta run back up here. Revamp his health. Alright. So, I hope that changes when he evolves again. I really do. Now, who is this man down here? In, like, the Indiana Jones get up. I gotta go talk to this guy. He's just interesting to me. Oh, Team Rocket is at Mount Moon. Okay, so they're up to their old shenanigans again. So I hear with certain Pokemon, you can actually give them a Moonstone, and it'll help them evolve into something different. So I'm probably going to try that. I'll probably have to do a little bit of research on it, but I, I definitely want to try that. Yeah, I'm getting the criticals. Why is it faster than me? Didn't I start out faster like I was getting the first hit? Oh, this is taking forever. I don't know how I feel about this. I may start swapping him out. Because that is going to take a pretty good little bit of time. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And I'll try and uh, go with Pikachu. So basically, what we're going to do is Pokemon Pikachu switch here. Alright. So now that we've done that, hopefully, what that will do is... I'll swap it out for Pikachu, we'll level both of them at the same time. And until Metapod gets to a higher level, that's just... I'm going to keep running into Rabbita and Pidgey. And I'm going to swap over to Pikachu every time. Tail Whip, not a big deal. And you got to have a Thunderstone, I think, to evolve your Pikachu into a Raichu. It doesn't evolve on its own. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, get wrecked. Pikachu is pretty much OP, though. I mean, Pikachu, I don't know why they give you access to a Pikachu so early in the game. I sort of feel like on the actual Pokemon show, though, Ash gets a Pikachu. 
So uh, I feel like that's why they do that, so that you can choose between Bulbasaur, Squirtle, uh, Charmander, and Pikachu. But I don't really want to carry Pikachu all the way through this game so much as I think it'll be a good backup Pokemon to have. I think it'll be a really good backup Pokemon to have. He's going to help me out in certain gym situations, and I mean, I understand that, so it'll be good for me to have him aboard the team. Oh, I want this Metapod to hurry up a level. Like a level 3 Pidgey, that should not be a problem for this Metapod. See, I'm attacking first. There it is, I attack first. And in that other battle, it seemed like for some reason Pidgey started attacking faster. I don't know if it raised its own speed somehow. I thought agility did that. I don't know it didn't use agility, so. What do we got here? Another Pidgey, it's level three, so. I just want my Metapod to level. Hey, a critical. I like criticals when I get them. But only when I get them. I don't know. I might do a little bit of off-screen leveling. I don't want to say that for sure, though. Where I'm at on time. 2657 yeah I'm probably going in the video here in a few minutes I get so wrapped up in this game it's like time just flies 30 minutes here 30 minutes there it's absolutely crazy and thank you guys for being here with me this is everything that I wanted and more to be honest I mean I'm not some big youtuber I don't really care um, if I ever get a crap ton of views on my videos or whatever I mean that's not really what it's about to me, it's more about people coming together and forming a community around me. That's what I want. If that happens, it does. If it doesn't, then I'm still going to put out videos. I'm still going to put out videos. I'm still going to be who I am. But, I mean, when people like my videos and comment and say, you know, hey, keep it up, that means the world to me. I want that community around me. So... I, I can't really say it enough. I know I say that in my videos way too much, but I literally can't thank all the people. I still didn't get any more attack. I got more defense. Goodness. Alright. Whatever. But I mean, it really can't be said enough. It can't. Thank you to everyone who gives me the time just to watch my video. The view alone is amazing, but a like a comment, a subscription, that that means so much to me. That people actually want to watch my videos. Uh oh, Pidgey got sloppy. One or two attack points is huge in a battle so this is a level five so I'm gonna try and go ahead and take this down and get the experience points off of it and again I'm just getting hammered with poison sting and it is not poisoning me I mean you guys are seeing this well I'm not going to be attacking first this time. I mean, I understand it with Weedle. With uh, Pidgey, I didn't really understand. There we go. 37. Nice. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, for doing anything as you guys do. Any way that you can support me in any shape, form, fashion, language, scent, flavor greatly appreciated so much 
And um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. And as always, I hope you all dream in neon. And I will see y'all in the next video.